Breaking news, the jury has convicted R. Kelly on six of the 13 counts he faced in the federal trial, while his co-defendants have been acquitted on all charges. And our WGN's Julian Cruz is joining us from the Dirksen Federal Building with the very latest on the verdict read there in the courtroom. Julian. Well, Ray and Mike, a stunning moment here at the Dirksen Federal Building. R. Kelly uh, in the courtroom as they read the verdict. Our investigative producer, Sam Charles, is standing by here, and he was in the courtroom, and you saw R. Kelly's reaction. What did it, how did it go down? He was very subdued uh, when the jury verdict was read out. You have to remember, this is the second time 12 months that a jury has convicted him. Uh, his co-defendants, Daryl McDavid and Milton June Brown, who were both acquitted, however, were very vocal. Uh, in their joy uh, at being acquitted. Uh, McDavid actually shot out of his chair, raised both his fists above his head and proclaimed yes uh, before the court staff had to remind him to quiet down a little bit. But McDavid then exchanged some very tearful hugs with his defense attorneys, Vadim Glasman and Bo Brindley. Uh, McDavid also hugged Kelly, uh, gave him a quick little peck on the cheek as well after the verdicts were read out. Uh, as Kelly was being led out of the courtroom, uh, Milton Brown attempted to give him a hug as well. However, U.S. Marshal's office uh, got in between them as no physical contact is allowed, but you could hear Kelly tell Brown, quote, I love you, bro, as he was being let out of the courtroom. It was quite a scene, and we heard R. Kelly's attorney, Jennifer Bonjean, saying that Kelly is used to getting bad news. Uh, this is a mixed verdict, uh, you know, six of the 13 original counts, uh, but uh, as uh, Jennifer Bonjean discussed, you know, R. Kelly uh, is is devastated. You know, he, he's in, in one regard, he's happy that this is behind him, but uh, he was already looking at a 30-year sentence in New York, so we're talking about decades of additional years. Exactly right. A 30-year sentence handed down to him by a judge in New York earlier this year. Uh, those convicted of federal child pornography charges often see hefty sentences themselves at least a couple decades, so it's all, it's all that more likely that Kelly will receive another multi-decade sentence whenever he's sentenced. Case. Just quickly, the conspiracy charges uh, seem to just fall to the ground. I mean, that's got to be a deployment for the government. More than likely. Uh, the conspiracy charges were, I would say, the most complicated uh, arguments that uh, prosecutors had to present to jurors. And, you know, even for the reporters in the room watching the arguments unfold, it was tough to follow sometimes. And obviously, uh, Kelly, he was acquitted of all those conspiracy charges, as were his co-defendants. But again, the, the convictions on the child pornography and criminal sexual abuse uh, charges should mean a multi-decade sentence whenever that happens. Sam Charles, thank you so much for your hard work during this trial. Uh, so just a, an incredible moment here in Chicago's uh, federal courthouse. And uh, a scene uh, that uh, I think none of us expected uh, would move this quickly. Uh, jurors deliberating uh, just over 10 hours, including a few hours that they had deliberated yesterday. And as we have said before, even though uh, Kelly was acquitted on some of those counts, uh, he is facing some serious jail time. Micah and Ray, back to you. Let's go to Dana Revick right now with the latest. Thank you, Julian. Hi, Ray and Micah. As Julian mentioned, R. Kelly's attorney, Jennifer Bonjean, spoke here in the lobby of the Dirksen Federal Courthouse after this verdict was handed down. She said that this is closure now on a chapter in many people's lives, including R. Kelly. And she said she felt that this was not a loss, that they did win more counts than they did lose, uh, as Julian mentioned, uh, and that she was pleased that the jury looked at each charge and each count separately. Uh, as he, uh, Julian, and said as well. Um, she said that R. Kelly, of course, uh, was disappointed. Uh, and here's what she had to say just a few moments ago uh, on his reaction to the news this afternoon. There was a mixed verdict, um, but we won more counts than we lost. You know, listen, Mr. Kelly uh, is used to bad news. Um, he has a 30-year sentence, which is egregious and excessive, in my view, out of New York in a case that never should have been charged the way it was charged. So, you know, this is, he's still got many um, fights to fight. But what he did say is that he was had a sense of relief that this particular case was not in the future, it was in the past now. And Bonjean asked if her client, if R. Kelly had any uh, signs of remorse uh, over these counts. And she said that she would not comment on any private discussions that she's had with him. But she hinted uh, that at sentencing that her client may speak to that. Live in the Dirksen Federal Courthouse, back to you, Rain Micah. All right, Dana, thank you.
Now, earlier we did hear from the co-defendants' uh, attorneys. This is their reaction after the verdict. These people should never have been relied on. This case should have never been brought against Daryl McDavid. And we are so grateful for having the honor and the chance to defend him, to prove it. They stood tirelessly beside me for three years. And they stepped up and they got the job done. That was co-defendant Daryl McDavid.